an ancient herbal supplement still very popular for weight loss and anti-aging. A lot of you might have thought to yourselves, what are the best supplements to help with weight loss, right? Well, I can tell you right now that leading the race are two substances. One of them is berberine and metformin. However, berberine is showing more positive results. But what is the story behind these two weight loss wonders? What are the studies that has been made, right? And can they really help with the weight loss as much as you think they will? Well, keep watching this video and let's talk about it a little bit more in detail. Hello everyone, if you are looking for exclusive deals, blogs, educational content every week delivered to your email, subscribe to our newsletter at sugarmds.com right now. A major way, as you know, to lose weight is consistency. What does it mean exactly? If you have a regular diet and exercise regimen, you will wind up shredding the calories and getting the results you want with losing the pounds and having a healthier life, da 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 da, -da, -da. right? You hear that all the time. Now without that though, your path to that goal is a lot harder and you know, like you will end up with heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, depression, your doctor tells you about all the time. But in this fast paced world, regular exercise sometimes a, a tall order. What if you, if you have injuries or conditions that affected your joints? Are you a lost cause? But let me tell you, by taking dehydroberberine as a supplement, you no longer have to be. Even with these conditions, you can enjoy the success of weight loss just as much as a dedicated gym goer. But how does it really work, right? Well, berberine and more importantly, dehydroberberine raises your cellular energy levels, which can lead to an increased calorie burn. Yeah, no treadmill required. After that, your energy is saved, you know, in other processes, you know, which are your healthy cells, but your body draws on these fat cells like a superpower battery when you're on these super berberine or dehydroberberine, right? So it speeds up the metabolism, calories are burned, with the help of hormones such as leptin and less insulin, more adiponectin. And this calorie burning process happens very smoothly when you are using berberine. So where is the proof? Well, there have not been a lot of studies done on berberine and weight loss, but at least two have been completed and they show promising results. In one research, for example, Obese patients were given oral dose of 500 milligrams of berberine, which makes it 100 milligrams of dehydroberberine if you're using dehydroberberine. It was given to them three times a day for 12 weeks. Each patient lost an amazing amount of five pounds. And it was, if it, that was not enough, they also saw a large reduction in their cholesterol levels by 23% reduction in their triglycerides and 12% reduction in their total cholesterol. So with all of these results, what was the final ruling, do you think? Well, researchers concluded that berberine is an optimal supplement effective at lowering cholesterol, your lipids, and moderately affecting weight loss. Yes, yeah, not the best weight loss medicine, but there's a lot more good things about it. So in the second study, covering more than three months, and they were taking over 300 milligrams of berberine uh, to three times a day, and 40 people were studied. So what connected all of them together was the fact that they were, all these people were diagnosed with metabolic syndrome. As, um, you, know, as you know, uh, at the first study, the patient's blood levels, BMI, body mass index, they all were decreased. They went from being obese to being you know like a bmi of 30 or higher as you know considered obese to overweight which is bmi between 25 to 30 but on the whole really they still stayed around you know 27 to 30 bmi which is not may not be the best results you're looking for but still something right how about metformin which everybody have their hands on right 
How does that stack up? Well, metformin doesn't look like it goes as far as berberine when it comes to helping with weight loss. It is still not down for the count yet, though. A follow-up of like a 10-year study on metformin, for example, found in that span of time, people with type 3 diabetes were given metformin, and they experienced small weight loss, maybe around 2%, compared to others who did not take metformin. Well, 2% is 2%, right? Don't underestimate that. In another study, metformin was given to patients with insulin resistance only, and in six months, they lost around five to six kilograms, which is around 10 to 12 pounds. And those untreated people gained actually three to four kilos, which is four to eight pounds. So metformin was found, found to be overall an effective weight loss drug, but in a realistic setting, and in insulin resistant patients may be more resistant to that, but it is still better than gaining weight, right? So in the weight loss ring, it is berberine in one corner and metformin on the other. Which one is better for you? Well, actually, when it comes to regulating blood sugar levels and managing your weight at the same time, and also lowering your cholesterol levels, the bad cholesterol especially, right? Both berberine and metformin, I would say they share the win. But some people don't like the metformin and berberine comes in handy. The hydroberberine is even the best, okay? So that's why in superberberine we have, keep that in mind, we have the hydroberberine to reduce the side effects that you may get with berberine. You can get berberine from anywhere, from any brand, without a prescription from your doctor. Metformin, you have to have a prescription. So let's get to the question that I know you all are asking at this point. What are the real side effects of berberine? But let's remember, berberine is a plant extract that, when taken orally, is completely safe overall. But it can cause stomach upset, constipation, diarrhea, similar to metformin. Unlike the hydroberberine that we use in our superberberine, regular berberine will still give you side effects. Well, don't let that scare you. If you cannot afford our superberberine and you want to use a regular berberine, that's fine. But uh, applying berberine directly to your skin, for example, does not have any side effects, although I don't know if there are any benefits to that, but some people do that. Uh, to help fight the potential side effects, again, we are using dehydroberberine. And if you're pregnant, by the way, I forgot to tell you, or breastfeeding, I would say avoid berberine. Uh, even metformin is questionable in pregnant women, uh, although we use it. But when you're pregnant, I would just stay away from any supplements, you know, altogether. If you have low blood pressure, actually taking berberine or dehydroberberine can make it lower, which is another good thing. But if you have a high blood pressure or on the higher side, like, you know, let's say you have your blood pressure is 130, 140, which is not necessarily normal. Actually, people think it's normal, but normal is actually 120. But the bottom line is it will also help your blood pressure a little bit as well. Now, make sure you check the sugarmds.com, make sure you check our products, but I hope I helped you understand a little bit more about metformin and berberine and how to decide, just because I get this question all the time. Doc, should I take metformin? Should I stop it? What else can I take? Here you go, now you have the option. Well, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and remember to search for SugarMD Word with whatever you're searching for. Just put the SugarMD Word next to it. You're going to find an article, you're going to find a video that you will find helpful. Thank you and talk to you later. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.